just hot off the heels of me talking about all the hype of seeing our core class Volcanicus being repainted into Dino King, a Transformers victory character. And what happens today? Another Transformers victory character has been revealed to us and even has the title of Victory Universe, implying we will be getting more Transformer Victory characters outside of our HasLab item and potentially, like I said, my Dino King theory. And who is that we have today? This comes courtesy of JT Prime 17. The Walmart stock images are in the computers and have been found. Transformers, Velocitron, Speedia 500, Wave 2 leader class victory universe galaxy shuttle we have the galaxy shuttle trademark now back in 2015 when we first saw titans return sentinel prime which clearly was going to be repainted into astro train and titans return that voyager class mold i said man one day this is going to be galaxy shuttle and we never got that repaint and then we got the leader class. And I was like, look how big that leader class is. One day that's going to be Galaxy Shuttle. And it didn't happen. But now it's here today. And it did happen. And I am very happy to see that it's not just a straight up repaint. That they actually gave it a brand new head sculpt to kind of invoke that original Transformers Victory and Zone character of Galaxy Shuttle. And it looks really good. It's, it's quite amazing how well the gang molding of the plastic worked out in the end when you really focus on all the different colors that could be applied, the paint deco to match those little things too. I really like what I see. And even more so, the little the little extras that they, you know, the little, the little Easter eggs that are in there, which we're going to talk about. So packaging looks great. Might as well just focus on that for a hot second. Um, again, beautiful box art. Again, invoking that old Galaxy Shuttle kind of box art look. I love that that robot mode art. Looks fantastic. And much more, not much more I could really say. We'll definitely talk about it more in the future. But let's go into the robot mode. And what I love about the robot mode is that head sculpt. It looks really good. They managed to really pull off that head sculpt looking really, really nice. Um, the only negative that I could really say is, and, and it's kind of understandable because it's just kind of, you know, the the way that it has to be with the transformation is it would have been cool to have the Autobot logo on his chest, but unfortunately they have to have the Autobot logo on his legs because it's part of the transformation. But I do love that they put the deco on the side of his legs, which is the Transformers Victory logo deco, just that V from Transformers Victory. That original deco was a sticker on the original 1989 Galaxy Shuttle toy. And there it is right there as a deco. That's really nice. I like the use of the red paint on his shoulders to kind of break up would have been normally just a molded black plastic because the original toy again had some red on the side i like all those little little nice touches that kind of add and break up everything and make it look really nice and it looks great i'll talk about the weapons in a moment but we'll, let's just go into the alt modes so here's where it's like yeah we're all going to be hyped about the shuttle mode it's all it's got to be about that shuttle mode because it's it's galaxy shuttle so shuttle mode looks really good. Again, this is where that Autobot logo being on the legs because of the Astro Train mold at least works out for the alt mode because it, the original 1989 toy had the Autobot logo on the top of the shuttle. So it has it here too. So it looks really nice. It's fantastic. And again, having that Transformers Victory nice little emblem on the side there, the V matching the original toy looks really, really good. Really good. I really like it. I love also how the little, the little, um, the little rudder on the back, the little rudder, the little wing on the back is actually painted in with deco to match that of the original 89 toy. They put a lot of paint deco into this and a lot of little, little pieces of detail to make it look like the original toy which is really nice because when you look at the original Astro Train, they didn't put a lot of paint on it. They, actually, they did, but it was that Siege Battle Damage paint, so it, kind of all the budget went into that. But not in this case. They put all that paint budget into making it look like the original toy, and that's that's really cool considering how much that original toy goes for today. Woo! To get any version of this character, and this is a beautiful way to get it. It's much larger than the original. That's the one thing for sure. Uh, looks great. Looks fantastic. Now let's get into the elephant in a room in a lot of ways. So 
the original Galaxy Shuttle toy had kind of a base mode, an undocumented kind of base mode stuff. In this case, they're going with, well, we're going to have the train mode, and the train mode is just going to be an extra thing that's just a part of it because it's part of the Astro train mode. So they weren't really going to try to have fun with the train mode and said, hey, it's going to be kind of like that third mode that the original Astro train had. But they did something really clever with it, which is the original Astro train leader class from Siege had this tin tender on the back. Now, the tender, for people that aren't aware, like a, a train engine back in the day, the steam train engines, they had a tender on the back, which was this like tr this car that had all the coal in it. And that's where the extra coal was when they needed to put fire in it to, to run the steam engine. And so they had a tender included with Astro Train, the original one, so they could transform into this like rocket base kind of launch pad that he wanted to have. And what they did with this one is they included it also. It's probably part of the mold, so it's to be expected. They included it also, but they colored it. And they gave it a deco that looks like zone base or rocket base, the MicroMaster rocket base, whatever you want to call it. I always call it zone base because that's how I, I always associate it. And I love how it's blue like zone base. It has the little H helipad landing like zone base had. It had the little H in the original zone base from back in the 80s, which is really cool that they did that. I love that all of Galaxy Shuttle's weapons are red like Zone Base, because Zone Base had all these pieces and parts that were red, the weapons, the guns, the missile launchers, the tri-blasters. He only has one gun that's black to be like his gun that he had of the original 89 toy. So there's just so much little fine details here that are just so cool. It's just absolutely fantastic. I'm so excited. This is such a, a smart release. And the fact that they put all that paint deco into it to make it look really good too just adds to it on top of it. So you get this kind of little micro zone base and considering zone base was part of the the micro master like play pattern that existed in the original generation one toy line and this this little launch pad because it's from siege and siege had all those micro masters it adds to that play style you're buying now a velocitron speedy 500 toy that still has the connecting parts and the play patterns of all the little the little ramps and the little street transformers and everything so you can continue that micro master story so that's pretty cool. We, we had a Amazon exclusive that was trying to invoke Zone Base in a small way through the, um, through the Galactic Odyssey collection. But now we have this one here that kind of also invokes that. It has that helipad launch. I, I, again, it's those little fine details that I appreciate so much. And considering, again, the original Galaxy Shuttle toy came out in 89. It was lightly released during Transformer Zone in 1990. And then it just disappeared. Very difficult to get. They did a retool of that mold in the Brave series. Brave Command Dagwon had Thunder Dagwon, which was an extensive retool of Galaxy Shuttle. So that was another way you could technically get that character, but a different version with different sculpting. And then years later, years later during Armada, Aaron Archer, when he was designing Armada Jetfire, he was kind of an homage to Galaxy Shuttle. Even the transformation is similar. So that was that's pretty much... The, any love that Galaxy Shuttle got throughout the years. And here's me whenever I saw like those Astro Train molds going like, this is ready to be some kind of Galaxy Shuttle at some point. I could just see it. And finally it happened. And I'm glad that it happened with the leader class because of that tender being there to kind of just add that extra play pattern to the Micro Master thing. How did I not see that before? So good. So good. I love this. I think it looks absolutely great. I can't wait to see this in stores. Let me know what you think, guys. Again, this isn't really racing related. Speedy of 500. Maybe, maybe because look, Galaxy Shuttle in Transformers Victory Fiction kind of was the guy who brought around everybody. And so maybe that's how everyone got to the planet Speedia to compete in the races. Galaxy Shuttle was their travel. So that's what I think will probably be the explanation of the fiction. Kind of just like how, you know, you have someone like Cosmos and it's like, how is he involved? Well, he's the flag bearer. So it's like, okay, cool. I love this. I think this is great. It opens up to more Victory characters. Again, we got Victory Saber that's coming from HasLab soon. We got Dino King here. Now we got Galaxy Shuttle. Who's next? Can we get a Road King? Come on, man. Give me Road King. That would be my that's one of my favorite combiners of all time. Give me Road King. Give me a give me a new Lyo Kaiser. You know, give me a brand new Lyo. Give me give me Land Cross. Like there there's so much cool stuff that could be done here. And of course, everyone's scammering and you know, really wants a Deathsaurus. But this is really cool. Let me know what you think. Super hype stuff. 
Can't wait to talk about this later in the week when we get more information from Mark and the crew.